Hey guys, I wanted to update you on this Apothecon language. After Treyarch put in that little Easter egg scene inside of that trailer for the new DLC that's coming out and showed what some of the Apothecon language translates into, I decided to do an entire breakdown of this language and find every single symbol around the map and translate it. Also, I've been able to add some more words and symbols to this because there's another little screen that comes up at the bottom and it looks like this. It's really hard to see, but I was actually able to kind of look at them and figure out what some of them are. So here's the spreadsheet that I have so far. Now the stuff on the left, I did not create. I do not know who created this. Somebody sent this to me, but I thought it was absolutely amazing. I decided to expand on it and go with this. It's color coded to match the syllable and the symbol. I've also added in the symbols for the reticles that you unlock lock for your guns because it does translate and like shows you what each of them mean. On the far right I've been able to compile some symbols with other clues around the map and have been able to put these together. Some of them I cannot translate but I do know what they sound like in the native tongue and also how they're spelled. I'm coming across more clues in the game where I will be able to expand on this chart and keep adding to it and keep you guys updated. I'm gonna have this page here in the description below so you guys can just use it and reference it if you need to. So I'd made a video talking about the Pack-a-Punch machine. These symbols are all over it and I was able to translate some of them, but there were some I could not translate. Well, going back and looking at other clues, I was able to translate Apothecan Servant down on the bottom left and also the word Envy. I'm really learning a lot about this language, so I think I'll be able to fill this all in eventually. The next place you're going to see these symbols is on the base of the mystery box. It was nice to see that I could actually translate most of these. So you've got magic box, open, feed points, gather, time, weapon, magic magic box. Yeah, it just seems like this is instructions for how to use the mystery box and how the symbols relate to it. There are a couple of symbols that I'm not able to translate and I don't know if we need to use like context clues here. Probably would be a good idea to look at these symbols and see where else they are on the map and how they may relate but it could be nothing and it could just be for decoration. Another place you're gonna find this language is gonna be on the ritual floors. So each of the ritual sites like Nero's and Footlight, the Waterfront and also the Ruby Rabbit, on the floor around the ritual table, there's all these symbols. There's four large symbols on the inside right close up to the ritual table and those symbols are reflected over on the Pack-a-Punch door, the one that dissolves after you do the four rituals. Now here's a shot at the floor and what I've done is translated just the ones that are in English and are actually on the chart and what Treyarch has given us so far. There seems to be a repeat of head, gather, break, open, and those are the only things that really translate well. There's a lot of symbols that we do not know what they mean yet. And nothing here really stood out to me as far as like instruction for doing anything like upgrading the wonder weapon or anything like that. Now right here I'm looking at the boxing gym symbols and just know that these symbols are duplicated in each of the ritual sites. Like every little symbol is in the same place and says the same thing. The next place you're going to see these symbols is at the base of those statues that you put the Apothecon egg into and then feed like zombie souls to it. I know for sure that pod and complete do translate here. This is on the chart that Treyarch gave us. The one that I thought is blood looks very close to this, but it's off just a little bit, so it may not be blood. The altar one I'm not sure about. There was a cutoff screen inside of that trailer that Treyarch released, and it only showed half of the symbol. It did say altar, but the top half did look like the top half of this. I don't feel like I'm at a point yet where I know enough about the language to really make a good speculation about what these could mean. I'm still learning and I'll definitely keep you guys updated. But for the most part, it really looks like the symbols that are in front of something is instruction on how to use it and what to do with it. Another place you're going to see these Apothecon symbols is on the summoning key, but only one of them Treyarch has told us what it means and that is the servant one. And the only reason we even know this is because it's one of the reticles that you unlock on your guns and it says that it means servant. Another place you're going to find these symbols is on the base of the sword pedestal. So once you get that door open with the beast mode and, you know, get the right combination, if you look down at the bottom, you're going to see four symbols. From the chart that Treyarch gave us, we know for sure that feed and transform are definitely what those two symbols mean. I've made a guess here and think that maybe one is egg and the other is sword, since you're feeding an egg to transform the sword. So that's a possibility. And the symbol that I think is sword is also on one of the swords. So it kind of makes sense that maybe it could be that. So this next part is where it gets interesting, and this is where I'm learning a lot about this language. When you get the sword door finally open, you can see four swords in the pedestals. If you look closely, you can see that each sword has two lines of symbols, so there's like eight lines total here. Each line, you can actually hear the keeper, or whatever that dark voice is, say each line of these swords whenever you're using them. And I'm going to give you guys an example right here.
So here is a close-up shot of each of the lines on the swords and what they say. I've been able to translate some of them into English, but some of them I was only able to listen to audio clues and know how to like spell it out in the native tongue. This is everything I've gotten so far and I'm still working on this chart. But the sword that stands out to me the most is the sword number four, and that's the one that's all the way to the right if you're looking at the pedestal. That is the only line that completely translates from the chart that Treyarch gave us. And it says, only Apothecon servant ones survive. No idea what that means, but it is the only one that fully translates. And it just happens to be talking about the wonder weapon. Again, I do not know enough about this language yet to speculate what this could mean, but I wanted you guys to have this information. Also, I wanted to show you guys what the four sword names are for the Apothecon sword, like the blue one. You can see Shubazor. Now that is one of the words that's actually on one of the swords, and you can hear the audio cue of what it sounds like. And you can hear the audio of that guy saying it. There's no translation into English at this time what it means, but it looks like Ulagwa means consume. Another sword name that does translate out to English is Astanar Nathorgast, and that means head gather. You can see here I was able to match up some of the symbols with some of the words, but most of these do not translate into English. Also wanted to show you guys that I think there's two different languages going on here. I think there's Apothecon language and Keeper language. Treyarch had shown us obviously the translation for some of the Apothecon language, but another screenshot had shown Keeper language. It wasn't showing any of the translations, it was just showing, yeah, this is a thing. And I think this Keeper language is what you see on the Keeper's arms, like the tattoos. You also see it on front of the breakable crates that hold the statues. The upgraded red Keeper sword has it on the front of it. And you also see it, and I don't show it here, but on the chain traps, like where you pull the Margwa hearts. And here are the names of the upgraded Keeper swords, the red ones. And you can see the style of language is very different from the style of the Apothecon language. Language. It sounds really different too. I'm not going to play any audio cues for that because it's really not important at this time and I'm pretty much overwhelming us right now with the information that I already have here. Next thing I decided to do was do a complete breakdown of everything that we have for the Apothecon Servant. As far as like the names that they're calling it, the audio cues that you hear, and I wanted to try to match up some of the symbols with some of the words that we do have. So here are the names of the Apothecon Servant, Kormoroth, Marastagwa, Nar Ulakwa, and Lorzorazor. The only thing that translated to English here was Ulakwa, and that means to consume. I was able to match up just a few of the symbols, but again, it's not really telling us anything at this point. Next thing I wanted to try to understand was the phrases that you hear whenever you build the Apothecon Servant and pick it up. Each gun has its own phrase and I'm going to play those for you guys right now. It was really interesting to see that it's translating into the word feed, and I don't know if it means this thing is an animal and it needs to be fed. Is the vortex that you shoot out actually some type of feeding for this thing? The last phrase that was repeated for every gun was Zor Arkoth, and that is what I could understand it was saying. You guys may understand something different, but that is what it sounded like to me. And it does match up with syllables and symbols on the chart. And I wanted to know if we could be able to tell like what some of these words mean by matching up and like comparing other syllables that are in other words to see if we could find some type of relation and look at the big picture and try to start putting a story together. And I'll show you guys the breakdown of that in just a moment. But now I want you guys to listen to the three phrases that you get whenever you shoot 10 zombies and then a margwa spawns in. This is supposed to be a phrase to tell you that you're ready to upgrade this gun. <laughs> Okay, so the first phrase to me sounded like it was saying Zornash, Na Aruja Zornash. You guys might hear something different, but this is what it sounded like to me. This is where I got really curious, and I wanted to take each of these syllables and see where they appear in other words on the chart and see if I could start making sense of this language. So it looks like the SH, and it's like a blue symbol, it is in Beast, Pod, Robot, Trap, Shubazor, which is a symbol that's on the sword, and also you hear the audio cue whenever you're holding the sword. And then also it could be a part of the word blood. At this point, it's not really showing me how anything really relates, but I wanted to keep going and keep breaking it down and seeing, again, if I could see a big picture here. The next one is Na, and it's like that little squiggly snake line. Looks like Na appears obviously in ID gun, robots, door, trap, 
hour and alter. This next one, Zor, I see a lot of, and it looks like it's in open, transform, world, Shubazor, again, the sword, and it could be a part of altar as well. This next one here is repeated. It's Na, and obviously it's an ID gun robot, door, trap, round, and possibly altar. If you look at this syllable and symbol, it looks like it matches up and says or, and you can see that obviously in the ID gun, shoot, in, into, and also come. This one here I think is Uja or Ja, and it's like four little triangles close together. Uja can be seen in Shoot, Kill, ID Gun, and then there's a variation of Zombie. It's Uja, not Uja, so it's very close and it still has those three little triangles that are close together. The next syllable is Zor, and again it looks like it relates to that symbol and I won't like show you guys all that again. So we'll take a look at the syllable auth and it looks like it relates to that symbol right there. Auth can be seen in quite a bit. Zombie, parasite, elemental, beast, magic box, transform, power up, and all. What's interesting is this power up here is the name that's on the upgraded wonder weapon. So once you upgrade the wonder weapon, it says this like Arwath right there. And apparently that is the symbol and it actually means power up. Also, when I heard the guy say this word, he's making it sound like the G is silent. And you can see GWA also in Margwa. So I don't think it's pronounced Margwa. I think it's pronounced Marwa, but I could be totally wrong about that. But that's what it sounds like. This last one here that I was able to understand is Arb and you you can see this in a few of the words as well on the chart. Looks like it shows up in pod, feed, points, and power up. Again, how all this relates, I don't know yet. I'm not getting a clear picture by seeing all this information. What I have been able to do is hear the audio clues and start putting those native tongue words with the symbols that we see around the map. There's a lot of those symbols and they still need to be translated into English. And I don't know if we have enough clues here to do that for ourselves. We'll just have to keep putting the pieces together and maybe Treyarch will give us another leak like they did in this recent DLC trailer. Again, I'm gonna have this chart in the description. You guys can just look at it whenever you want. I'm going to keep updating it and let you guys know what I find. Really interested to know what you guys think about this and we'll see you next video.